Hi, my name is Divya Maringanti and I'm a member of the WAC Developer Support Team. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use the WAC SDK to create a widget. Displaying on my screen is a high-level overview of steps. Download the WAC SDK from the WACapps.net website. We have Windows, Mac, and Linux versions available. In addition, we also have a Transit Widget Emulator for Firefox. Once Eclipse is launched, we need to set up Android and AVD. Now, it's time to create a widget. In order to create a widget, we need to follow sequence of steps which I'll be walking through shortly. Finally, it's time to run the widget on an emulator. Hence, these are the sequence of steps I'll be talking in detail. Let's start off with it. In order to download the SDK, please log in and follow the navigation as shown. Develop Toolbox SDK. As you may have noticed, I'm working on the Windows platform. I'll be downloading the SDK version for Windows. Click download now. Save the SDK in your desired destination. Please follow the instructions accordingly to download the SDK. If you are in a country with slow internet connectivity, you may find Download Accelerator, a shareware which could help in downloading the SDK or any content faster. Once the SDK is installed, launch Eclipse by double-clicking on the WAC 1.0 SDK icon on your desktop. We also need to set the Android path as the emulator runs on the Android platform. The navigation we follow to set the Android path is Window, Preferences. Browse to the folder where you have installed your SDK. In this case, I have installed my SDK on the C drive. Click WAC SDK and OK. Once the path is set, it checks for the Android version in the SDK and displays when you click Apply and OK. Next step is to set up an AVD. You can either select the option from Window, Android SDK and AVD Manager, or just click the icon right here. Android virtual devices are configurations of emulator option that let you better model an, an actual device. In order to create an AVD, click New. Give an AVD name, say AVD1. And then the target I choose in this case is Android 2.2. You can also install different versions of Android externally from the Android website and set the Android path first as shown in the previous step. So in this case, as we have already set the path for Android 2.2 in the previous step, we see that in the drop-down right here. Next option is the SD card. This is required to execute widgets from SDK. The minimum size we need to set for any widget is 10 MB. Next, you can choose any option based on your device. Example, if your device is equipped with camera, SD card support, etc., then choose the option accordingly and then click OK. Now click Create AVD. As I've already created an AVD from emulator, this is the AVD I'll be using to launch my emulator. Hence, your AVD and Android are now set up. Now, it's time to create a widget. Please follow the navigation as shown. File, New, WAC 1.0 Widget Project. Give your project name as say WAC and click Finish. Whenever your widget is created, it is by default created with the .wgd file extension. Along with it, we have config.xml, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript files. Now let's get into details of config.xml file. Config.xml consists of different tabs present at the bottom of the file. To start with, the widget tab consists of meta information and configuration of a widget. Example, you can better present the look and feel of the widget 
by setting the height and width ratios accordingly. You can also provide a description of what the widget is about. The two most important features under the widget tab are the create button and the billing option. When you click create button, it prompts you to enter the nickname. The nickname you enter here is the one which you see when you log into our website. This is present right here. In this case, as the nickname is Divya, I'm going to enter as Divya and click OK. One important thing to notice here is, if the nickname you enter does not match up with the website nickname, then you are prone to see errors when you upload your widget. So please make sure that you enter the same nickname what you see on your website. The next important feature is the billing option. If you want your widget to be paid, then select the billing option as true. In this case, as I do not want my widget to be paid, I set the option to be false. Hence, that's all about the widget tab. The next important tab is the feature tab. The feature tab consists of a list of APIs that your widget can interact with. This list of APIs will be visible in the feature tab when you mention them in the JavaScript file. Next, the last tab is the source tab. The source tab consists of an important feature called widget ID. This widget ID is unique and crucial when it comes to uploading a widget. It consists of website name, encrypted nickname which you just entered, and the project name. Hence, as we have finished creating the widget, now it's time to run the widget on an emulator. In order to run the widget on an emulator, the navigation we follow is right-click on the widget, run as widget application, save your changes. We have three different console modes, that is widget, Android, and DDMS. So the widget console, you can see that we are trying to run the emulator and these are the logs created as you can see. When you see ADB is running normally, that means we are trying to reach the emulator and this is how the emulator looks like. Just a reminder that the goal of this video is to display a hello widget on an emulator. This code is located in the HTML file. So I'm trying to display Hello Widget on an emulator. You might come across some issues when you're trying to run your emulator, which may include ADB not found or read-only file system, etc. In that case, please make sure that the Android path is correctly set and the minimum size of a widget in an AVD is mentioned as 10 MB. This step may take a few minutes for the widget to pop up when you're using an emulator for the first time. I've captured a screenshot of an emulator with a hello widget on it. This is how the screenshot looks like when the widget is up and running on an emulator. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to post any questions using the contact us located at the top of your website at www.wacapps.net. Also, look out for more videos from the WAC Developer Support Team. Thank you.